Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for your love and support that you've given us, enabling us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. So let's begin. Do you know what it means to be a highly sensitive person? Well, a highly sensitive person or HSP for short, is someone who is born with an innate disposition of processing and understanding information on a much deeper level than most. This makes HSPs more perceptive, self-aware, intuitive, and observant because of their deep thinking and empathetic nature. Are you wondering if you may be an HSP? Here are nine things highly sensitive people do differently. One, experience emotions. Do you react strongly to the feelings of others or wear your heart on your sleeve and sometimes struggle to keep your powerful emotions in check? HSPs wield the power to feel things more deeply than others so they also experience emotions differently. What may cause others to shrug in nonchalance might cause you to reel with shock. Your emotions are much more intense, lingering, and sometimes even overwhelming to deal with. Number two, react to situations. Do people wonder why you react so strongly to something that they would simply breeze over? They wonder why you can't take it in stride and just go on about your day. But as an HSP, you lead with your heart and let your emotions guide you through life, even if it may not be the most rational or logical thing to do. You just can't help it. You're emotional beings through and through. And if something doesn't feel right to you, you can't go through with it. You have such a strong need to be happy and feel at peace that you just have to let out any negative emotions you feel the moment you feel them. Number three, making decisions. Are you apt at deciding things quickly? Do you let emotions rule your decision-making strategies? HSPs take it to a whole new level. Your affinity for both analytical thinking and intuition aids you in deciding things because you always wanna be sure that you've made the right choice. You weigh your emotions against your logical reasoning and try to find the best course of action to take. You don't enjoy impulsivity or spontaneity because you'd much rather be sure about things than regret your decisions later. Four, process their grief. Being at the beck and call of emotions has its downsides. Feeling deeply encompasses both sides of the spectrum. Your joy and sorrow both affect you strongly, and so you might be more at risk of developing anxiety and depression. Studies have shown that there is a significant correlation between being a highly sensitive person and having a higher risk for mental illness, especially mood and anxiety disorders. This is because HSPs also have a tendency to let their grief linger in their heads longer than it should and ruminate over things that make them upset, angry, or hurt. Five, receive details. Are you extremely detail-oriented? Can you recount minute details with alacrity or do you just remember the general idea? As an HSP, you have a natural talent for remembering and appreciating the finer details most people tend to overlook because you're so self-aware and observant. And it's for this very reason that you might find yourself drawn to creative arts like painting, poetry, music, and theater. Six, perceive people. On a scale of one to 10, how are you at reading people? HSPs are known for being great judges of character. When you're an HSP, you're quick to pick up on the little things, like the tone of someone's voice, their choice of words, or their facial cues, and understand what it all means. And this is why you're so good at reading people and their intentions. You're usually the first people who'll notice if something is off with someone, and you can tell right away if someone is lying or hiding something from you. Seven, listen to others. Are you someone who's always ready to lend someone an ear for their troubles? For highly sensitive people, active listening just comes naturally. You're so perceptive and so in tune to the emotions of those around you that you're usually the first person your loved ones go to for advice or counsel. When times get tough, your friends can always count on you to be there for them when they want to pour their hearts out. Eight, love deeply. Highly sensitive people are fiercely loyal and devoted, whether it's as friends, family members, or romantic partners. As an HSP, you're thoughtful, caring, and sweet as well as incredibly trustworthy and true. No one can ever love quite as deeply or as passionately as you because you just have so much love to give. You are big hearted and generous with your time, energy, affection, and attention. And nine, hate passionately. 
Not surprisingly, when you're an HSP, you can hate just as passionately as you can love. You can hold grudges like nobody's business because you're so used to taking everything to heart. Your sensitivity can make you more critical and less forgiving than most. And you're not likely to change your mind about someone who has done something serious to hurt you or someone you love, no matter what their reasons behind such actions might be. We hope we were able to give you a little insight into some of the ways that set HSPs apart from the crowd. Do any of these apply to you? Let us know in the comments below.